All right, it is a beautiful Saturday and I am heading to Impact Kitchen. It's gonna be our brunch for my first ever fitness retreat and we're hosting it in Toronto right now. It's gonna be awesome. We're heading to Impact Kitchen and we're gonna go for a workout all together afterwards. And at the very night, we're gonna to go to Piano Piano and uh, we're gonna have a little prize giveaway as well. So uh, pretty awesome. You guys may not hear me, okay, because my mic is actually not working right now. So hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna to try to reduce the background sound, but I will see you guys on the next clip. All right, we just finished having brunch right now, and uh, we're heading over to the community center to get a workout in. I don't have my mic once again, so I'm speaking a little bit louder. Hopefully you guys can hear me. But yeah, it's gonna be a nice 40 minute walk. I lied and I said it was gonna be 20 minutes, but <laughs> everyone's getting more steps in. So we're heading over, we're gonna get a workout. I'm gonna shoot just a little bit of that, and then uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next clip. Restaurant. <laughs> The training has begun from the restaurant, the walk. <laughs> All right, we made it. We made it to the community center and we're gonna get a workout in. I'll see you guys inside. All right, made it into the gym. Pretty neat, they got a basketball court in the middle. Pretty decent space actually. How they set the gym up. We're gonna go for a workout together. Catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Alright, so if your cat needs a barbell, use dumbbells. This one's easy, so here, like that. You just lift it up, ribs out like that. Okay, so keep your hands in. You're keeping your elbows fixed. And what you're doing is just moving the dumbbell behind you. Like that. You guys see that? Now what you can do is the back of the dumbbell. Yes, a lot of flat. Alright, we got the crew working out. All right, nice. Elbows in, Stephanie. Elbows, elbows in, elbows in. That's it, like that, yes. Let's see it, Ada. I know you're really strong. All the way in, and then chest up. Just finished the workout it was a great one you guys can see in the previous clip so we're actually uh, gonna go outside and i'm gonna host the workshop and i'm gonna talk about my experience and what i've learned over the last 13 years of working out and actually i first started actually at a community center not this one i'm not from toronto but uh yeah i'm gonna share some insights experiences lessons and mistakes that i've learned over my 13 years of working out and i'm gonna share with the clients so yeah just waiting for them right now we're gonna actually do it outside right over here Okay, and after that, we're gonna go for dinner. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Um, yeah, I wanna talk about the lessons I've learned and the mistakes I've made over my 13 years of training. And I know it's gonna be insightful for you guys. Here's something that may surprise you guys, but my first experience in a public gym was actually terrible. My friends and I weren't actually welcome in the gym. Um, we were getting like verbally harassed from like an older group. Also, my family members, right, would also, a few of them would ridicule me. I almost felt like there was a huge wave against me when I was trying to do something positive. Anyways, it's been 13 years and I'm, to this day, you know, I'm still in the fitness life, so I'm super blessed and grateful that I have you guys as clients and I'm able to, you know, spread my message and help so many amazing people. As well. First lesson, right, is whenever you guys make a positive change in your life, there will always be somebody or something that wouldn't be supporting you. I'll say that one more time. The first lesson, is not just fitness but anything else in life is whenever you try to make one when you try to make a positive change in your life because positivity either inspires people or it irritates people so the second lesson a person may go through experience through injuries pain loss of time but it doesn't mean you have to go through the same experience is good but bad experience can be avoided you know like once you injure it once it's never going to be the same experience is good but you can't avoid bad experience and the best way as you guys know is get help sooner than later because you're either going to pay in money or going to pay in time you're either going to pay in pain or you're going to pay in money all right last point here uh one of like the limiting beliefs for people starting the finish journey is it's not worth it actually 
a better way to think about it is it's actually really worth it because if you're more more of a beginner in your fitness journey, there's much more progress you can actually make compared to someone that's a lot more advanced, physiologically speaking. So the difference was I was being more meticulous and I was being more precise with everything, okay? And then the second thing is from today. Two things, that's very important, okay? It's gonna be your temple and the range of motion. Be that person that executes with a great technique. Okay, so that brings us to then. Thanks for listening, guys. What's up? Just got changed and now we're heading to the restaurant and it's gonna be a fun at time. We're gonna have some good food. We're also giving away the apparel for all the clients in, so I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to take pictures of them. And yeah, one lucky winner is actually gonna win a prize. We have a prize to give away. But anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next clip. Come with us as we come to the last event of the night, which is dinner. We'll see you guys very soon. What is this? <laughs> All right, we just made it home and we're finally finished the retreat. We had a great dinner. I had my girlfriend come out, she's over here in front of me, but um, it was a great time. Um, this is the first official retreat. We actually had like a meetup previous years ago, uh, but yeah, like everything was set up today. We had like a workout, we had the brunch as you guys can see, and we finished up with the dinner and we had the hoodie giveaway as well, which is super uh, exciting. Like this is the first actual apparel. This is long overdue, but uh, we have our apparel over here and you can see behind Racky Fitness, but uh, yeah, we're gonna come to a close for this YouTube video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not very long. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. We're gonna be coming out. And babe, what's uh, the next place we're heading to? Japan. Japan. We're gonna have some Japan content for you guys and we're heading there in about two weeks and we're counting down the day. So it's gonna be super exciting. Besides from that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one.